Hello, in this lesson we are going to cover the first of the sketch tools and this is going to be the line command. But before we do that, we must first start a new part file. So I will go up to new, select new, part, and then OK. And the part environment opens. Now, every time you go into a part assembly or drawing environment, the very first thing you should do is verify that you are working in the correct units. So, if you look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you can see my units are millimeters, grams, seconds. And if that is not correct for you, you select the list and choose property units. Now, let's begin. First, we need to create a new sketch. So, I'm going to select sketch icon. It asks me to select a plan for the sketch. So, I will go out to the screen and select the front plane. The plane revolves around normal to your line of sight. And now I'm ready to begin sketching with lines. Going to the sketch ribbon, notice we have a line icon. Right next to it, we have an arrow pointing down. That is representing drop down list with additional line options. So if I select it, notice we have center line, which I will be covering in later list. So let's begin. I will select line command, property manager opens. So I will go out to the screen and left mouse click from my first point. As I move away from this point, notice I'm getting a preview of line. And as I'm stretching the line, as I'm moving further away from the first point, I left mouse click from the second point. Notice as I'm moving the cursor away, it keeps me in the line command and the next line segment is chained to the first line segment. I left out click again and there is another line. Left mouse click again and there is a third line. Now, at some point you are going to want to end out of this command. So how we do that? One method is the right mouse click and select end line chain. Another method is the double click. So I'm going to double click right here and notice it takes me out of the line command you have to be careful with this option now if you double click too slow it will give you a new line segment a third option which my preference is to simply tap the escape key on your keyboard now if you don't like the way your lines are chained to one another there is another method for creating lines. So, if I go back into the line command, instead of left mouse clicking from a point, when you left mouse click, hold the button down, drag the line out, release left mouse button, and you have a single line and a second line is not being chained to it. Okay, let's close out of the line property manager. Now, let's talk about deleting some of these entities. Now, if you only have a couple lines you have to delete, it is maybe wise to just select each piece of geometry and tap the delete key on the keyboard. However, if you have a lot of geometry to delete, what you can do is left mouse click and hold left hand mouse down and open area on the screen. As you move the cursor to the right, you get a blue box, we call this window box. And notice, the blue box is bounded by a blue continuous line type. Now, this is a window box. Any geometry completely inside of this window box will be selected. So, right now, what you see in the screen, only this one line here will be selected. So, if I release the left hand mouse button, Notice the one line selected. I can tap the delete key on keyboard and it removes this piece of geometry. However, if you hold the left hand mouse button down and drag to the left instead of the right, you see a green box. This is called a crossing box. And notice the boundary lines of this crossing box are dashed. 
What does a crossing box represent? A crossing box says anything you have in inside this crossing box or crossing through it will be selected. So currently we have this piece of geometry inside the crossing box and this piece of geometry crossing the box. So if I release the left hand mouse button, notice both items are selected. I can now select the delete button on keyboard and both items are deleted. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to get more. Have a nice day and until the next video.